Welcome back to Detroit Garage. Going to do a cold start on the uh, 353 Turbo. Uh, I did a short. It's ready for a dyno test, but uh, uh, I ran into issues with the uh, the adapter. So I'll cover that after we do the cold start. But uh, I don't think I'll be dynoing it. I uh, I cobbled it together for the dyno. So everything's kind of temporary for the turbo orientation and everything. But I did get the belts and the alternator all set up. So for further dyno testing stuff, I have to consolidate uh, a standard flywheel for uh, the dyno. Uh, my adapter had issues. Uh, I'll get into that after the cold start, but uh, so here it is. Like I said, it's kind of just temporary. Made a shroud and everything for it. Charge tubes, temporary. But uh, I'll set you down, we'll start it up and see how cold it is here. Oh, it's right around freezing, so slightly above.
Well, that's a, uh, a cold start for you. Runs really nice. Uh, you notice it was doing a bit of hunting. Uh, I didn't lock the lock nut on the uh, buffer screw, so tighten that up. Yeah, runs really nice. I think that turbo might be the right size. But that's one of the reasons I wanted to put it on a dyno. But uh, back to the adapter. You see these marks? So the adapter fits in here. And then the yoke bolts onto the adapter. I had to turn the adapter to fit this pilot bearing. Uh, because mine was too big. The other flywheel was different. So, we'll bring in and show you the so adapter. here's the adapter I made for the uh, 253 flywheel. And it, I had it turned to fit the 253, but the 353 had a narrower uh, pilot uh, race. So I returned this and put it in and then I realized, uh oh, I've got to put nuts on here. I can't get the nuts with the spacer that's on that flywheel. So I tacked on some nuts and then I bolted it up. And now I need to make a spacer for this. So I've, I've pretty much given up on, on this adapter for now. So for future, what I want to do is consolidate the dyno pieces, so all I have to do is bolt on a flywheel on the engine, and I'm done. This piece here sits in here. It's, it's uh, machined to fit this piece. So this is a number three how, uh, flywheel, and in order for me to run my dyno now, I'd have to put a number three flywheel housing and this flywheel on that engine. And uh, I'm just not going to. <laughs> so as much as I'd love to get the 353 on a dyno, it's not necessary. The uh, application it's going into is this compressor it's a 375 cfm compressor and it it will always be under a load so it's not like it's going to be sitting idling and and wet stacking and things like that so it's it's under considerable load all the time so i'm not going to worry about breaking it in on that it'll break in in the compressor so i'll get back on this project i just don't want to delay it anymore for me to fix all this stuff's going to be a couple of weeks and I just don't want to spend the time so this is the uh, vein uh, compressor 375 CFM so I'm going to take this piece off and then fit it to the uh, flywheel drill and tap the holes for it and then bolt this back on so that's what we're going to do and then uh, my goal is to finish this by the uh, the end of this year. Hopefully by summertime I'm done this thing, but like all projects, they seem to go twice as long as you think. Well, there you have it, guys. That was a cold start on the 353T. Yeah, it runs really nice. It's got the 5A60s in it, and it'll end up with N45s. Um, I don't have a fuel modulator on it, so you see when I throw the fuel to it, it smokes. I'm going to put N45s in it, and that'll reduce the smoke. It'll idle at 1600 and governed at 2100, so there won't be any smoke when it demands uh, a load. So that's how we're going to roll that. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for checking in. We'll catch you on the next video. Take care.